How to edit video on iPhone running on iOS 7. The iPhone's default videos app is good for video playing, but not good for video editing. If you want to edit videos on your iPhone, it's possible, but you'll need a third-party app. The most well-known third-party video editing app is iMovie. It's simple to use, yet can make very sophisticated videos that you will not sometimes believe were done on iPhone iMovie for iOS 7 has made a much more elegant look than its predecessors and holds some extra functions as well. It can be purchased from the App Store for as much as 5 US dollars. Let's see how to use it. Make sure you have the ready for editing video previously recorded by your iPhone. Tap plus to start doing your new project. Select a movie theme with graphics and titles. Add the elements that you'll want to edit into your movie, photos, videos, and audio. Time to start editing. The iMovie interface is pretty self-explanatory and allows you to cut and tweak the movie parts, add special effects, change the speed of video fragments, add titles, and much more. When you've finished editing your project, you can send it to the movie theater that keeps all your created movies in one place. The video will also be saved on your camera roll from where you can share it with others. Would you like to use the free app instead? Fine. Search free third-party apps such as Splice, CuteCut, Montage, or Magisto will also do the job, albeit they will look a little bit less sophisticated and have less functions. We've downloaded all of them and we'll quickly show you how some of them, namely Splice and CuteCut, work. Let's start with a short overview of Splice. If you want to do a quick video sequence using your videos, pictures, and audio, Splice might be exactly what you need. Simple, easy to use, and minimalistic. It does the job quickly. CuteCut seems like a more elaborate editing app, somehow reminding us of full editing packages with separate timelines for audio, video tracks, text, and effects. Its interface gives you hints on how to use it, and you can use more complicated effects to enrich your video. What we've done so far looks good. Now, when you have several cool videos edited by yourself, it would be a pity not to share it with the world, wouldn't it? Just follow HowTech's How to Capture and Upload Video from YouTube to iPhone Running on iOS 7 tutorial to learn how to do it. Good luck! This was a HowTech tutorial like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.